Bagel, a bagel, also spelled by go, is a bread product originating in the Jewish communities of Poland. It is traditionally shaped by hand into the form of a ring from yeast and wheat dough, roughly hand-sized, that is first boiled for a short time in water and then baked. The result is a dense, chewy, doughy interior with a browned and sometimes crisp exterior. Bagels are generally eaten untoasted, as they have already been previously cooked, however some people like them toasted. Bagels are often topped with seeds baked on the outer crust, with the traditional ones being poppy or sesame seeds. Some may have salt sprinkled on their surface, and there are different dough types, such as whole grain or rye. Though the origins of bagels are somewhat obscure, it is known that they were widely consumed by Ashkenazi Jews from the 17th century. The first known mention of the bagel, in 1610, was in Jewish community ordinances in Krakow, Poland. Bagels are now a popular bread product in North America, especially in cities with a large Jewish population, many with alternative ways of making them. Like other bakery products, bagels are available in many major supermarkets in those cities. The basic rule with the whole design is hundreds of years old and has other practical advantages besides providing more even cooking and baking of the dough. The whole could be used to thread string or dial through groups of bagels, allowing easier handling and transportation and more appealing seller displays. History Linguist Leo Rosten wrote in The Joys of Yiddish about the first known mention of the Polish word bajdziel derived from the Yiddish word bagel in the community regulations of the city of Krakow in 1610, which stated that the food was given as a gift to women in childbirth. In the 16th and first half of the 17th centuries, the bajdziel became a staple of Polish cuisine and a staple of the Slavic diet generally. Its name derives from the Yiddish word beagle from the German dialect word bugel, meaning ring or bracelet. Variants of the word bugel are used in Yiddish and in Austrian German to refer to a similar form of sweet-filled pastry and nuzet bugel, or in southern German dialects. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, bagel derives from the transliteration of the Yiddish beagle, which came from the Middle High German beugel or ring, which itself came from back in Old High German, similar to the Old English beg ring and bugen to bend bow. Similarly, another etymology in the Webster's New World College dictionary says that the Middle High German form was derived from the Austrian German bugel, a kind of croissant, and was similar to the German bugel, a stirrup or ring. In the Brick Lane district and surrounding area of London, England, bagels have been sold since the middle of the 19th century. They were often displayed in the windows of bakeries on vertical wooden dials, up to a meter in length, on racks. Bagels were brought to the United States by immigrant Polish Jews, with a thriving business developing in New York City that was controlled for decades by Bagel Bakers Local 338. They had contracts with nearly all bagel bakeries in and around the city for its workers, who prepared all their bagels by hand. The bagel came into more general use throughout North America in the last quarter of the 20th century with automation. Daniel Thompson started work on the first commercially viable bagel machine in 1958. Bagel baker Harry Lender, his son, Murray Lender, and Florence Sender leased this technology and pioneered automated production and distribution of frozen bagels in the 1960s. Murray also invented pre-slicing the bagel. Around 1900, the bagel brunch became popular in New York City. The bagel brunch consists of a bagel topped with lox, cream cheese, capers, tomato, and red onion. This and similar combinations of toppings have remained associated with bagels into the 21st century in the US. In Japan, the first kosher bagels were brought by Bajelk from New York in 1989. Bajelk created green tea, chocolate, maple nut, and banana nut flavors for the market in Japan. There are 3 million bagels exported from the US annually, and it has a 4% of duty classification of Japan in 2000. Some Japanese bagels, such as those sold by Bagel & Bagel, are soft and sweet. Others, such as Einstein Bro bagels sold by Costco in Japan, are the same as in the US preparation and preservation. At its most basic, traditional bagel dough contains wheat flour, salt, water, and yeast leavening. Bread flour or other high gluten flours are preferred to create the firm, dense but spongy bagel shape and chewy texture. Most bagel recipes call for the addition of a sweetener to the dough, often barley malt, honey, high fructose corn syrup, or sugar, with or without eggs, milk or butter. Leavening can be accomplished using a sourdough technique or a commercially produced yeast. Bagels are traditionally made by, mixing and kneading the ingredients to form the dough shaping the dough into the traditional bagel shape, round with a hole in the middle, from a long thin piece of dough proofing the bagels for at least 12 hours at low temperature boiling each bagel in water for 60-90 seconds that may contain additives such as lye, baking soda, barley malt syrup, or honey baking at between 175 degrees C and 315 degrees C. This production method gives bagels their distinctive taste, chewy texture, and shiny appearance. In recent years, a variant has emerged, producing what is sometimes called the steam bagel. To make a steam bagel, the boiling is skipped, 
and the beagles are instead baked in an oven equipped with a steam injection system. In commercial bagel production, the steam bagel process requires less labor, since bagels need only be directly handled once, at the shaping stage. Thereafter, the bagels need never be removed from their pans as they are refrigerated and then steam baked. The steam bagel results in a fluffier, softer, less chewy product more akin to a finger roll it happens to be shaped like a bagel. Steam bagels are considered lower quality by purists as the dough used is intentionally more alkaline. The increase in pH is to aid browning, since the steam injection process uses neutral water steam instead of an alkaline solution buff. Bagels can be frozen for up to six months. Quality. According to a 2012 Consumer Reports article, the ideal bagel should have a slightly crispy crust, a distinct pull when a piece is separated from the whole by biting or pinching, a chewy inside, and the flavor of bread freshly baked. The taste may be complemented by additions cooked on the bagel, such as onion, garlic, sesame seeds, or poppy seeds. The appeal of a bagel may change upon being toasted. Toasting can have the effect of bringing or removing desirable chewiness, softening the crust, and moderating off flavors. A typical bagel has 260-350 calories, 1.04.5 grams of fat, 330-660 milligrams of sodium, and 2-5 grams of fiber. Gluten-free bagels have much more fat, often 9 grams, because of ingredients in the dough to supplant the wheat flour of the original. Varieties Montreal style Traditional bagels in North America can be either Montreal style bagel or New York style, or East Coast style although these styles reflect traditional methods used in Eastern Europe before bagels importation to North America. The distinction is less rigid than other varieties. The Montreal style bagel contains malt and sugar with no salt. It is boiled in honey sweetened water before baking in a wood fired oven. It is predominantly of the sesame white seeds variety. New York style, in contrast to the Montreal style bagel, the New York bagel contains salt and malt and is boiled in water before baking in a standard oven. The resulting bagel is puffy with a moist crust. The Montreal bagel is smaller, crunchier, and sweeter. There is a local belief that New York bagels are the best due to the quality of the local water. However, this belief is heavily debated. For instance, Davidovich Bagels, made in Nick, are a recognized wholesale manufacturer of bagels that use these traditional bagel making techniques, including kettle boiling and plank baking in a wood fired oven. East Coast Style, main article, East Coast Style Bagel The East Coast Style Bagel has qualities that compare to the New York Style Bagel and Montreal Style Bagel, while also uniquely incorporating sourdough. This sourdough mixture features a unique set of ingredients only found in Halifax, in the form of locally sourced wild yeasts. The East Coast Style Bagel is not as chewy and fluffy, nor as salty as the New York Style Bagel, and is less dense, doughy and sweet than a Montreal Style Bagel, with an added dash of San Francisco influence. Other bagel styles, as suggested above, other bagel styles can be found elsewhere, akin to the way in which families in a given culture employ a variety of methods when cooking an indigenous dish. Thus, Chicago-style bagels are baked or baked with steam. The traditional London bagel is harder and has a coarser texture with air bubbles. Poppy seeds are sometimes referred to by their Yiddish name, spelled either Moon or Mon, which comes from the German word for poppy, Moon, as used in Monbrichen. American chef John Matewicz suggests a recipe for what he calls San Francisco-style bagels. His recipe yields bagels flatter than New York-style bagels, characterized by a rough texture crust. An everything bagel may include such toppings as poppy seeds, sesame seeds, onion flakes, caraway seeds, garlic flakes, pretzel salt, and pepper. Non-traditional doughs and types, while normally and traditionally made of yeasted wheat, in the late 20th century variations on the bagel flourished. Non-traditional versions that change the dough recipe include pumpernickel, rye, sourdough, bran, whole wheat, and multigrain. Other variations change the flavor of the dough, often using blueberry, salt, onion, garlic, egg, cinnamon, raisin, chocolate chip, cheese, or some combination of the above. Green bagels are sometimes created for St. Patrick's Day. Many corporate chains now offer bagels in such flavors as chocolate chip and French toast. Sandwich bagels have been popularized since the late 1990s by specialty shops such as Brugger's and Einstein Brothers, and fast food restaurants such as McDonald's. Breakfast bagels, a softer, sweeter variety usually sold in fruity or sweet flavors are common at large supermarket chains. These are usually sold sliced and are intended to be prepared in a toaster, a flat bagel, known as a flagel. 
can be found in a few locations in and around New York City, Long Island, and Toronto. According to a review attributed to New York's Village Voice food critic Robert Seat Seymour, the flagel was first created by Brooklyn's Tasty Bagels Deli in the early 1990s. The New York-style snacks brand has developed the baked snacks referred to as bagel crisps and bagel chips, which are marketed as a representation of the authentic taste of New York City bakery bagels. Though the original bagel has a fairly well-defined recipe and method of production, there is no legal standard of identity for bagels in the United States. Bakers are free to call any bread Taurus a bagel, even those that deviate wildly from the original formulation. Large-scale commercial sales, United States supermarket sales, 2008, according to the American Institute of Baking, 2008 supermarket sales of the top eight leading commercial fresh bagel brands in the United States, total to 430,185,378 US dollars based on 142,669,901 package unit sales. The top eight leading brand names for the above were Thomas, Sarley, Pepperidge Farm, Thomas Mini Squares, Lenders Bagels, Weight Watchers and the Alternative Bagel. Further, I provided statistics for the 52-week period ending the 18th of May, 2008, for refrigerated frozen supermarket bagel sales for the top 10 brand names totaled $50,737,860 US dollars, based on 36,719,977 unit package sales. Price per package was $3.02 for fresh. $1.38 for frozen. 2012, the IB reported 626.9 million US dollars fresh bagel US supermarket sales for the 52 weeks ending the 11th of April 2012. Fresh frozen supermarket sales for the 52 weeks ending the 13th of May 2012 was 592.7 million US dollars. The average price for a bag of fresh bagels was $3.27, for frozen it was $1.23. Similar breads, many cultures developed similar breads and preparations. The public in Russia, Ukraine and Belarus, and the Aborzenek in Poland are essentially larger bagels with a wider hole. Similar to bagels, these breads are usually topped with sesame and poppy seeds. Other ring-shaped breads known among East Slavs are Baranki and Sushki. In Lithuania, similar breads are called Rysteniui, or sometimes by their Slavic name Baronkas. In Finland, Veserinkli are small rings of yeast leavened wheat bread. They are placed in salted boiling water before being baked. They are often eaten for breakfast toasted and buttered. They are available in many varieties in supermarkets. German pretzels are somewhat similar to bagels in texture, the main exceptions being the shape and the alkaline water buff that makes the surface dark and glossy. In Romania, coverage are topped with poppy, sesame seeds or large salt grains, especially in the central area of the country. The recipe does not contain any added sweetener, they are usually shaped like pretzels rather than bagels. In some parts of Austria, ring-shaped pastries called bugel are sold in the weeks before Easter. Like a bagel, the yeast and wheat dough, usually flavored with caraway, is boiled before baking. However, the bugel is crispy and can be stored for weeks. Traditionally it has to be torn apart by two individuals before eating. In Turkey, a salty and fattier form is called asma. The ring shaped samit is sometimes marketed today as a Turkish bagel. Archival sources show that the samit has been produced in Istanbul since 1525. Based on our skewed court records dated 1593, the weight and price of samit was standardized for the first time. Noted 17th century traveler Vliya Salibi wrote that there were 70 samit bakeries in Istanbul during the 1630s. Jean Brindisi's early 19th century oil paintings about Istanbul daily life show samit sellers on the streets. Warwick Goebel made an illustration of the samit sellers of Istanbul in 1906. Samit is very similar to the twisted sesame sprinkled bagels picture being sold in early 20th century Poland. Samit are also sold on the street in baskets or carts, as bagels were then. The Uyars of Xinjiang, China enjoy jardinan, a type of naan, the local bread. Cultural references. Bagel is also a yeshivish term for sleeping 12 hours straight e.g., I slept a bagel last night. There are various opinions as to the origins of this term. It may be a reference to the fact that bagel dough has to rest for at least 12 hours between mixing and baking or simply to the fact that the hour hand on a clock traces a bagel shape over the course of 12 hours. In tennis, a bagel refers to a player winning a set 6-0, winning a match 6-0, 6-0, 6-0 is called a triple bagel. Bablichki or Bajalach is a title of a famous Russian and Yiddish song written in Odessa in the 1920s. The Barry sisters together with Lizzie the Elman Orchestra made it popular in the US in 1939. Today it belongs to the repertoire of klezmer, jazz and pop musicians. In America, 
The 9th of February is often celebrated as National Bagel Day, in which people celebrate the rich history of getting together and eating bagels. Please subscribe Wiki Audio YouTube page below, click notification or bell icon to get future videos uploaded as instant notification, and write your valuable comment, suggestion, feedback to improve in future videos, check our channel page to get more videos and share this channel to your friends and relatives.